Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about whether or not Cochrane, Alberta is a safe place to live. Now, if I was looking to move to Cochrane, Alberta in 2024, relocating from another area, or just trying to escape the large city of Calgary, I would really wanna know, is this a safe place for myself and my family to move to? So to dive into that, first off, I think we're gonna look big picture and let's talk about how Cochrane, Alberta's crime rates stack up against the rest of Canada. This will be hugely important if you're moving from some of the larger major cities in Canada, such as Vancouver or Toronto. Now, right now, Cochrane, Alberta's crime rates are sitting at about 41% below the national average when it comes to violent crime. So if you're looking for just your physical safety, 41% below the national average is a huge number. Now, when we're talking about overall crime rates, Cochrane sits at about 25% below the national average. Now, if you're looking at, hey, how does Cochrane stack up against the rest of Alberta and mainly some of the larger cities in Alberta? Well, Cochrane's average crime rate is 50% less than the Alberta average. So when it comes to finding a safe town to live in in Alberta, Cochrane is up in the top five. Cochrane also sits at 50% below the Alberta provincial average crime rate in violent crime. So very similar to that of the 41% below the national average. Violent crime in Cochrane is just a very rare occurrence. Now, some would argue that Cochrane's level of safety really has to do with the fact that there's only 35,000 people here. And while that does give you a nice small town feel, crime rates are actually reported at a per 100,000 person ratio. So as you can see from the chart below here, all of the crime rates are scaled up to match that of a per 100,000 person capacity or population. Now, if we want to just talk about Cochrane and compare it to the other small towns around Calgary, I think that's a really important thing to do. If you're looking at using Calgary as your hub, and this is maybe where you're going to have your employment, or obviously Calgary is the largest major center nearby, it would be important to understand how Cochrane shapes up and compares to Airdrie, Chestermere, and Okotoks, the three other smaller towns that you can live in surrounding the city of Calgary. And for that, I'm going to jump over here and we're just going to share my screen real quick. Okay, now that I've got my computer screen pulled up here, I'm going to look at the number of crimes or the number of reported crimes that have occurred in the last 14 days in the four surrounding communities around Calgary. Those are Cochrane, Alberta, Airdrie, Alberta, Chestermere, Alberta, and Okotoks, Alberta. And what I think that's gonna do is give you an idea of just how common or how often crimes are happening in these areas and find out which surrounding community might be the safest place for you and your family or for you in retirement here in 2024. So right away, I'm going to start off with Cochrane, Alberta. And as you can see here, I'm zoomed into the Cochrane area here on the uh, Rocky View County crime map. And in the past 14 days, there has been a total of four crimes reported with, you know, one vehicle theft and the rest of them just being property mischief. So relatively minor crimes in the grand scheme of things. Now, if we head down and look at the Okotoks area, you can see that Okotoks in the last 14 days has had 13 or 14 incidents, which is about one per day. Now, the key difference between Okotoks reported crimes and Cochrane's reported crimes is that you see that you've got five instances of theft over $5,000 and four instances where there was a theft of a motor vehicle. So when compared to Cochrane, Okotoks saw more serious crimes as well as more instances of crime. Now, that's very interesting because Cochrane and Okotoks have very similar populations with Cochrane being 35,000 and Okotoks being about 32. And Chestmere shows up at about the same at about 13 instances in the past 14 days. Now, again, with Chestmere, there was three instances of motor vehicle theft. There was five incidents of mischief. And again, there was three incidents of theft over $5,000. So again, a higher level of crime occurrences and more serious crimes. And that is with a population less than Cochrane, where Chestmere is really sitting around 27,000 people. Now, the last town that I want to look at uh, surrounding Calgary, Alberta is Airdrie. Now, Airdrie is a city and its population is 80,000. So with more than double the population, it would be, you know, realistic to expect double the crime value. Now, if we look at it, Airdrie actually had a total number of occurrences over the past 14 days 
of 51 different occurrences of crime reported. Now that number is over 10 times more crime than Cochrane with just over double the population. So it's very important to keep in mind if you're trying to choose a satellite community to live in, figuring out if this is a beneficial place for you to live with your family. Now, the big things I want to point out with the 51 occurrences, obviously, is just the few select really severe crimes that were reported over the past 14 days. And that is 10 break and enters and eight theft of a motor vehicle. So some more serious crimes occurring here in Airdrie than we see in Cochrane over the past 14 days. Now, with that being said, crime rates are not the only thing that is going to create a sense of community or a sense of feeling safe in your community as every community can have larger instances of crime or sprees or spurs of crime. This snapshot of the last 14 days is just that, it's a snapshot. But the overall statistic of Cochrane being 50% safer than the Alberta average is a pretty important thing to pay attention to. And that's just one of the main reasons why I think moving to Cochrane, Alberta in 2024, it needs to be something that is on your radar just due to the lack of crime and the overall safe feel of this small community. And once again, if you found this video helpful or interesting or engaging, please drop a like below, hit the subscribe button, and maybe even drop a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to engage with you as that really helps me get this content in front of more viewers and helps more people looking to move to Cochrane, Alberta in 2024, find the information that is best suited for them. And with that, thank you, and I will see you in next week's video.